The second panel is a discussion of organized labor's power in this country. They raise maybe seven billion dollars a year in dues. Imagine how much they spend of that on politics. They are the largest political player in American politics and will be for some time. What can we do about it? The good news is that you have 24 states today with a Republican governor and both houses of the legislature are Republican. <clears throat> you have a shot at right to work in any of these states. As, as Vinny said, who would have guessed five years ago that Michigan or Wisconsin, just a few years after that, would be doing what they have done in the last year. So it can be done. We now have more activists at AFP in Wisconsin than the State Teachers Union and the Government Employee Union combined. Yeah. And that's what it takes. By doing small reforms like paycheck protection, like dues checkoff, that eventually it would amass to a critical mass of worker freedom. And you passed it through the legislature? It was passed through the legislature and that's how Michigan, the state with the fifth highest union membership rate, the birthplace of the UAW, long considered a labor stronghold, finally gave workers the freedom to choose. We're going to talk about a couple things that uh, perhaps you could do to help us in our fight against uh, labor unions. Why are we focused on the labor unions? Well, this little pamphlet gives you the explanation. Labor unions spend more money in politics and in elections than all trial lawyers, all trade associations, all environmental groups put together. They're by far the largest contributors to the Democratic Party and to the left in our state. They have an enormous amount of resources. And what Scott and I and the staff at the Freedom Foundation want to do is limit their influence reduce their sphere of influence down to something that's proportionate to, uh, to uh, their size and allow the conservative voice to be heard. That's the whole idea. That's, that's the whole idea. So I, I encourage you all to join in with that and, and to help. That is the one thing I think you can do this cycle to make the union spend money on something they would rather not spend money on and that, for every dollar they spend defending their idea, is every dollar they don't have to spend against our good candidates that are trying to, that are trying to move forward. Our number one stated focus is to defund the political left. And I'm going to say this right now. Every time I speak publicly, this is going to sound paranoia, paranoid and all of that. They, the unions know that where I go, and they follow me, and they send a plant. So if you're here, I hope you quote me right this time. So wherever you are in this room, our goal is to defund you. Yeah.